Namaste. Good morning. I want to take this moment and just be with you. Just be here with me for a minute. Don't be in a rush. There's nowhere to be. There's nothing else that you need to do. Just be here with me in this moment. Be here in this moment of love. Be here in this moment of peace. Be here in this moment of ecstasy. Just be here. <clears throat> here is so good. I am so excited about the euphoric existence that is here in this moment. Over the centuries, the millennia, people have called this by different names. The Bible would refer to this as Eden. perfect state of existence. Adam and Eve in the story wandering around but ass naked just enjoying perfection without a care in the world without the need to make a decision or think too, too much about something just kind of a spontaneous life. Others called it nirvana, the arrival at a thoughtless place, the place of space. It goes by many, many names. In 2010, when I launched Ecstasis Ministries, it was Ecstasis Ministries and later became Ecstasis Culture. 2012, we started Ecstasis Institute. The word ecstasis there means to be out of your mind and it's about uh, this euphoric existence, Eden, Nirvana. The Institute, still running, is just all about helping students not only realize who they are, but don't miss this moment. But stay here in this moment, in this place of euphoria with me. Now. I might call this the highlight. When you see on our video intro the high life or you hear me talk about the high life, what I'm speaking of is euphoria, not induced by drugs or alcohol, but a euphoric energetic state that is induced in the form by an awareness of essence, an awareness of perfection, an awareness of being, an awareness of presence. And so when the mind and body and mindfulness begin to touch this moment and consistently touch the moment, that produces euphoria. There's a really deep and intimate moment that is present there. But when it is realized that you are the presence in which that present moment is unfolding, oh man, then that mind and body and the euphoria that is experienced is heightened to a much greater degree. I spent the larger part of my existence in this body looking for that euphoria, searching for that euphoria. 
and I searched for it through all throughout Christianity using the practices and principles of Christianity and ultimately just being in hot pursuit of the God of Christianity. And I had moments. I had some really cool moments, some deep moments of euphoria, but they were just that. They were temporary. Now I know, stay with me. Just stay here with me for a moment. Don't let your mind go wander and create all kinds of things. Just be with me. Just be here now with me. I know that you, everyone, and you are included in this, want to experience a euphoric existence, wants to experience a peaceful, loving, joyous existence. That is a part of your innate nature because that is actually your most effortless nature. The reason why you're not experiencing it isn't because you need to find it somewhere. As a matter of fact, everything that I teach is about revealing that you already have this. You can search for it your entire life and not find it. Or you could be here in this moment of grace and realize that you've always had it. The experience of euphoria in the body is when, you, when the mind is cast off because the awareness is shifted to an inward existence the union, the space, the oneness that we all share and when the awareness, the physical and mental awareness shifts into this space of this awareness then not only is the mind and body, the, the renewed mind the timeless mind and the timeless body able to touch this moment in an intimate way but now they're touching it in an intimate and euphoric way. <laughs> and this is the high life. So don't, when I say high life, don't confuse it with drug uses or a pot smoker or any of the rest of it. And so over the years, back to the story, over the years I had really per been in hot pursuit. I had experienced as much as 48 hour ecstasies where I went into these ecstasies for 24, 48 hours and I would come when I came out of those ecstasies I would just be in tears, a puddle of tears because I was I was wrecked man I wanted to stay there I mean once you touch the ecstasy, the euphoria of Eden <laughs> you don't want to leave and conscious I what I thought I was having was I thought I was going into this place and that I thought I was leaving what I would later realize is that I'd always been here my truest nature had always been Eden itself but my body and mind weren't consciously aware because they couldn't be until I recognized or realized that I was the actual space the presence the Eden in which the mind and body were consciously and perceptionally enjoying the world. What I'm saying is this, you're in Eden right now. Your mind and body is in Eden. This world is beautiful. It is Eden. You're not perceptionally experiencing it as Eden because your consciousness shifted from a place of singular divine consciousness, the tree of life, into a place of dual consciousness of good and evil and so now when you perceptionally see the world you might be seeing it through that dual lens the high life is about the singular lens Jesus said if your eye be single your whole body is full of light is full of Eden is full of ecstasy is full of joy is full of peace is full of euphoria so again be here with me be, just be here in this place of love and realize that right now this is the greatest moment of your life the highest moment of your life the most euphoric moment of your life the question isn't is that true the question is are you aware of it or not have you realized this or not. But know that there's grace here. 
for you to realize that you have always been Eden. And this body that you're animating is getting to unfold and consciously play within the space, the Eden that you are. I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Drop whatever questions you have or comments you have in the comment section below. If you ask questions, I'll be happy to respond to them in future videos. Have a beautiful day.